Hi. The Bible says, Oh, sing unto the Lord a new song. That we are to worship Him with everything we have. I welcome you again to this broadcast from Diocese of Ife, Anglican Communion. We are very happy to have you join in on our bro- in our broadcast for this Sunday. And we pray that as you listen to the broadcast, the Lord Himself will meet you at your point of need in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you as you do so. Welcome to this divine service in the precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We do hope that the Lord Himself will bless you abundantly this day as you come worship with us. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The opening hymn, Hymn Church of Nigeria, Hymna 49. Mm. Let us worship God. Oh, come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord, our Maker, for He is our God. As we approach our holy God, we realize that we have sinned and come short of His glory. Let us therefore humbly confess our sin to Him, kneeling and saying together. God. Father, we confess that we have sinned against you in church, word and deed. We acknowledge that we are responsible for our sinfulness. Have mercy upon us, we pray you, and forgive us by the love which you have shown towards us in Jesus Christ, who for our sake died and rose again. Give us true repentance by the power of your Holy Spirit and enable us to forsake our evil ways and serve you in newness of life. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. May the almighty and merciful Lord grant unto us pardon and remission of all our sins, time for amendment of life, and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Recognizing that God has forgiven us because Jesus, the Lamb of God, has died for us. Let us adore him, saying, Salvation belongs to God, who sits upon the throne unto the Lamb. Amen. Blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be to our God forever and ever. Amen. You have dealt well with your servants, O Lord. Blessed are you, O Lord. Your word is a lamp to our feet.
the psalm for this morning service, Psalm 95. Come, let us sing for joy to the Lord. Let us shout aloud to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before him with thanksgiving and extol him with music and song. For the Lord is the great God, the great King above all gods. In his hand are the depths of the heart, and the mountain peaks belong to him. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands formed the dry land. Come, let us bow down in worship. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, the flock under his care. Today, if you hear his voice, do not harden your hearts as you did at Meribah, as you did that day at Massa in the desert, where your fathers tested and tried me, though they had seen what I did. For 40 years, I was angry with that generation. I said, they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they have not known my ways. So I declared an oath in my anger, they shall never enter my rest. Bible reading for this divine service is taken from the first epistle of Peter, chapter 2, commence reading from verse 1. Wherefore, laying aside all malice and all guard and hypocrisies, and envies, and all evil speakings. As newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the world, that ye may grow thereby. If so be ye have tasted that the Lord is gracious, to whom coming as unto a living stone, disallowed indeed of men, but chosen of God and precious. Ye also, as living stones, are built up a spiritual house, a holy priesthood, to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God by Jesus Christ. Wherefore, also it is contained in the scriptures, Behold, I lay in Zion, a chief cornerstone, elect, precious, and he that believeth on him shall not be confounded. Unto you, therefore, which believe, he is precious, but unto them that which be disobedient, the stone which the builders disallowed, the same is made the head of the cornerstone. And a stone of stumbling and a rock of offense, even to them which stumble at the world, being disobedient, whereunto also they were appointed. But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should choose, show forth the praises of him who had called you out of darkness into his marvelous light which is in time past, were not a people, 
but are now the people of God, which had not obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. This is the word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. Thus, firm my faith in the words of the Apostle Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He ascended to the dead. On the third day he rose again, he ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Lord, you are so good. Lord, you are so good. Lord, you are so good. You are so good to us. The collect for the day. Almighty and everlasting God, by whose spirit the whole body of the church is governed and sanctified. Hear a prayer which we offer for all your faithful people, that each in his vocation and ministry may serve you in holiness and truth, to the glory of your name, through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Shall we begin to bless the name of God, the Lord that has counted us worthy to come into his presence this day. It's a beautiful day. In the month of June, as we continue our journey, let's thank God for how far he's been faithful, he's been kind, he's been loving to us. Let's thank him for resting the situation all over the world, especially at this time. Let's thank him because he's seated on the throne and is governing the affairs of the whole world. Bless his name for provision. Bless his name for mercy you receive. Bless his name for all the good things he has made available unto you. And as we are thanking him, he has promised restoration. He has promised revival. He has promised to speak peace unto us. So why not just ask him to restore good things, good pleasure, good time unto you and your family? Why not ask him to revive those things in your life that needed visitation? Why not talk to him to cause you to rejoice over situations and circumstances of life? Ask him to give unto you good players of the world. Ask him to cause our land to yield its increase, especially at this time. Let's commit the earth sector in particular to the hand of the living God, the Jehovah Rapha himself, to heal as many that are down, especially with the pandemic at this time. And let's ask him to lead our leaders right, to give them vision as to what to do uh, that pertaining to moving the nations of the world forward. As we are praying, talk to God. What do you desire? What are you trusting him for, especially in the course of this week? Is God that is more than able. Is God of abundance. Is God of increase. Is God who can lift you up out of situations and circumstances that may want to overwhelm you. Commit your ways, as well as committing your families unto his hand and pray for the church of God to continue to work stronger, especially at this time. Bring your prayer to a close. Thank him for having heard you. For we pray in Jesus' name. Faithful Father, we thank you because you always hear us. 
And we thank you because we know the abundance of joy will be our portion this way as we continue to look unto you, the author and finisher of our faith, through Jesus Christ our Lord. The aim, Church of Nigeria, aim now 537. Father, once again we return thanks to you because you've been so good to us. We thank you for the privilege to come before thy throne of grace to listen to your word. And we ask, Father, that you speak to us in the power of your Holy Spirit this morning. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I greet you all in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And I say a happy Sunday to you all. Today is the first Sunday of Trinity. And we want to thank God that here in Ocean State, Nigeria, we have started going back to church. But for the sake of those who are exempted by government from coming and others who are preconditions, we are continuing with our broadcast. And of course, for those in the worldwide, who listen to us. We are continuing our broadcast service. This morning, we want to look at the theme, New Identity in Christ. And this theme is taken from the passage that was read to us in 1 Peter chapter 2, from verse 1 to 10. After we've given our lives to Christ, we are called to a new identity. And if you look at that particular passage in verse 1, there are certain things that God expects us to get rid of. We have been called out of them as children of God. They are listed there. There are some things that tend to plague us as Christians. And God is telling us to read our life of these things. Number one there is malice, wanting to get even with somebody. Deceit, which is the order of the day now in our society. Hypocrisy, pretending to be what we are not. Jealousy, envying what other people have. And unkind speech. Many a time we talk ill of people around us. And God is saying, Come out of all these works of darkness. Come into my marvelous light as a child of God, as a born-again Christian. If you were to put it in today's term, he said, he gave us a new identity. This identity is so good, we can actually brag about it. Because according to 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9, our new identity was well spelled out there. We are a chosen people, royal priesthood, holy nation, 
God's own possession. I mean, it is awesome for God to choose you out of the whole multitude in the world to choose you. And for you to be called a priest. You know, in the Old Testament, the selected people are called priests. Only the Levites were called priests. So it was a very, very, very privileged position. They were the only ones that could enter the holies of holies and certain parts of the temple itself. But now, when you come to Christ, the doors are open unto you. You too can now offer sacrifice unto this God to be called part of his holy nation and to be a special possession. These are wonderful titles by which he has called us. And that is what we are in Christ Jesus when we are born again. With this new identity, we are likened to newborn babies because the old has passed, new has come. And when you look at babies, all a baby wants to do is to feed from the mother. The baby craves for milk from the mother. And so in verse 2, it is telling us that we too, like newborn babies, we should crave for pure spiritual milk to nourish us. Pure spiritual milk to nourish us. And this milk that he's talking about here is nothing other than the word of God. It is the word of God that nourishes us. It is the word of God that guides us. It is the word of God that directs us in all things. We need to spend time to dig deep into the word of God as children of God. As Psalm 119 verse 105 says, Your word is a lamp unto my feet is a lamp and a light unto my path. Lamp to my feet, a light unto my path. That is, is the word of God that will guide us. It is expected of us as newborn children with our new identity in Christ, it is expected of us to offer spiritual sacrifice. Don't forget that he has called us a royal priesthood. That is what. And one of the duties of a priest is to offer sacrifice continuously unto God. And with this new title in us, it is our duty to offer spiritual sacrifices unto God. What kind of sacrifices are we talking about? Are we going to be slaughtering animals and all those again? No. Our sacrifice is a sacrifice of praise unto the living God. The sacrifice of prayers constantly unto this God. And that, that which reflects in us doing good to others in the world. Friends, are you doing this as a child of God? Do you spend time to praise God? Do you have time to pray unto, with, to this living God? How do you affect your generation? How do you affect people around you? How many people can see the influence of Christ in your life? And because of that, draw closer to Christ. I heard the story of a man a long time ago. He was an executive in one of these blue chip country, companies and he had a driver who is not a Christian. And this man lived such an exemplary life as a child of God that he, without him witnessing to this driver, one day the driver came to him and said, Sir, I want to serve the God you are serving. The God who made you the way you are. I want to serve that God. Can we see Christ in us? And people be attracted to the Christ that they see in us? Or is it the light they see in us? Is it chasing people away? Or is it drawing people to God? You, you ask yourself. You examine yourself. What kind of light are you shining to the world? Remember, one of our duties in offering spiritual sacrifices is doing good. Do you reach out to people around you? In what way do you affect people's life? I pray that if you are not doing this, after this morning, 
you will have a change of heart and begin to draw closer to God. Ask him to enable you to be able to do, go out there and do good for the greater glory of God. That the name of the Lord will be praised and worshipped forever and evermore. And if you have not surrendered your life to Christ, you need to do that. Otherwise, all we are talking about does not make any sense to you. You have been left out of the covenant if you have not surrendered your life to Christ. So if you have not, do surrender your life to him. And God will bless you abundantly as you do so in the name of Jesus Christ. As you grow with Christ, your labor will not be in vain. Let us bow our hearts as we pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word which has gone forth. Lord, we pray that you will enable us to re-examine ourselves. To jettison those works of darkness that you've spoken about. That they will not be the one guiding us. But it will be your word that is guiding us going forward. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. We want to bless God for the words that has come by. We pray that He will continue to enrich our life in Jesus' name. We are still encouraging us to keep on obeying the instruction as passed by the government concerning the pandemic. We pray that God Himself will protect us in Jesus' name. We call on the decision for the closing prayers. Once again, before I pray, I want to thank those of you who are supporting us in this broadcast. Your support means a lot to us. It enables us to continue to be on here preaching the word of God to the nations. This may be the only way by which you too are preaching the gospel. You may not be able to go out there, but your resources can go to the utmost ends of the world. And it will be written in the book of remembrance for you. May the Lord bless you as you continue to support us in the name of Jesus Christ. If you would like to support us, our bank details is as follows. Guarantee Trust Bank. And the account number is 0171-748809. I repeat it. 0171-748809. The account name is Dowsis of Ife Special Trust. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. The peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God. And of his son Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty. The Father. The Son. And the Holy Spirit. Rest and abide with you. Now and forevermore. The closing aim, Church of Nigeria aim now, 598.
Thank you.